I think something that's very, very clear from, from the results is that actually your residual brand awareness, so how well you are known right now, really doesn't have to hold you back when it comes to your, uh, to, to your IMC uh, performance. Because actually, what we've found is that of the firms we studied, um, from the best group, a quarter of them actually weren't that well known. Um, didn't even fall inside the top third for brand awareness. So what it shows you is that not being that well known really doesn't have to hold you back. A strong Google Page One score is absolutely essential. You know, your Google Page One is your, is your corporate brochure online, it's where most people find you. But it's very dynamic and it's constantly changing, so you need to be dynamic in the way that you respond to it. And what we've seen from our study is that too few firms actually understand this. I think uh, one in five actually has a really bad Google Page One, that's things like negative media sentiment sitting on there. So what you need to do is be far more proactive in the way that you are engaging with your Google Page One, owning those assets and getting the positive media sentiment out there to keep it positive and strong. Generating a consistently positive media sentiment is quite difficult. But what our study shows very clearly is that if you want to do that, and you want to have a great score when it comes to this thing, you need to be really proactive with the way you're talking to the media. You need to really understand your brand and be able to leverage that through engaging thought leadership content, educational content, things which really uh, demonstrate your expertise to your key audiences. The astonishing truth is that our research actually shows that the average asset management firm is actually decreasing its, uh, its organic search traffic by almost a third year on year. And that's absolutely astonishing. And what, what it means is that all of those firms are actually competing for less and less audience, audience attention. You need to be far more effective with the way you're talking to, to your audiences in order to generate that communications alpha. Firms clearly understand they have to engage in some way with digital. But what's very, very clear from our, from our research is that they're not doing so in a way that's really connecting that content. You know, only 20% of the firms from the study actually were, were posting regularly uh, thought, you know, engaging thought leadership content across their, their, their core three social media channels. And then what that tells you is there's enormous room for growth and improvement in the way that firms are actually bringing all of this content together and then distributing it to their audiences. You know, I think measurement is absolutely critical to, to doing good marketing. Um, I think unless you've got the ability to, to measure and therefore track how you're performing, you've got no idea what's working and what's not. You've got no idea which things to put more budget behind, which things to put less budget behind. What tracking actually means is that you can actually make every cycle smarter than the last.